All right, so today what we're gonna take a look at is how to combine multiple sales orders into one shipment. So let's say that you're releasing your sales orders one at a time to the warehouse and those are creating multiple shipments, but then you're gonna actually ship them all at the same time. So you wanna combine those shipments together into one shipment and to have multiple sales owners under one shipment. Uh, fairly easy process to do. So let's go ahead and start off by going into um, sales and marketing and we'll create a couple of sales orders for this. We'll create two sales orders um, and uh, we'll combine those together. All right, so the customer we're gonna to use today is US-009, which is Al Wholesales. And the warehouse I wanna use is Warehouse 64 today. We'll say okay to that. And the first part number we're gonna use is an L0100. And we'll just let it be one of those. All right, so with this one, we're gonna go ahead and release this one to the warehouse. All right, so we get, uh, so we come down here, we'll take a look, we get work. So we got work on this one. And then if we look at the uh, shipment here, so if we go back to warehouse, go to shipment details. Okay, so then we have a, our first shipment is this USMF 000094, okay? So now let's go and create another sales order. So we'll come back to our sales order and click new. And we need to use the same account because obviously if you have a shipment, they need to go to the same place. All right, so we're gonna, again, we're gonna pull that out of our, we're out 64. Let's say okay. And this time we're gonna use part number A0002. Okay. And we'll just let that be one as well. All right, so we'll go ahead and release this one to the warehouse. And then if we go ahead and look at the shipment on this one, Remembering our first shipment was 94, this one's going to be 95. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the work first. So if we go back out to warehouse management, we're gonna look at all work. And we should have two um, open work here, records here. All right, so we've got uh, for sales order 190 and uh, 1191, 1190 and 1191, we have both of those. And those are on shipment 94 and 95. Okay, so to combine these together, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our shipments and we're gonna open up our shipment. So we're gonna all shipments. And then we're gonna basically combine 95 into 94. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, go open up 94. And then under the shipments tab, there's this button uh, for consolidate shipments. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And then what it's gonna do is gonna give me all of the shipments that can be combined for this particular um, for this particular shipment. So for this particular one, the only one that's available to combine in is this 95, okay? So we'll go ahead and hit okay there. It's already highlighted. And that will combine that shipment in. So now if we go and take a look at the shipments, I'm gonna go back out to the all shipments again, and we'll see that um, the, let me go ahead and refresh that we'll see that 95 is no longer there, right? So now we've got order numbers 1190 and 1191 under this shipment 94. So if I go back out and look at the work again, uh, look at those two work records, they both should have the same shipment on them now. So here's our same work. We've got 1190 and 1191 for the uh, order number. If we scroll to the right, now both of these have the uh, same, same shipment on them. So combining shipments is really easy. It's something that's pretty common to do. Again, if you're releasing your sales orders one at a time, you know, as soon as you create them, you're releasing your sales orders. So it's pretty common to get multiple shipments. And uh, this is just a way that you can quickly combine those shipments together. All right, so I hope uh, you can find this video useful and thanks for watching.